Hello fellow engineers and welcome to the holiday update as there have been new blocks added to the game so let's go over and talk about how you could possibly use these in your designs. As we fly on down here to my testing platform I have uh, uh, set up in the snow biomes because you know, it's getting close to Christmas it is the holiday update after all. We have the large open control seat. Now in the past update, they had this small control seat that they added for small blocks. However, they didn't have the large version available at that time, but it is now available. So we have this seat here, takes up one block entirety, and you've got a whole bunch of really cool decals on it with all these textures, all the flip switches, which are all modeled. I think this thing looks awesome along with that it's got five screens the one in the center here these two on the left and these two on the right so you can put whatever you want on those for you know your horizon indicators your different amounts of fuel you have whatever you want uh, feed scripts to it or just images i think this is a great looking control seat and it i think it would just be like vastly better than something like a control station for sitting in your base. Like, this seems oh, just plain these days. Of course, this is a very early design, something they did years ago when they were first putting the game out. And if we compare, we're looking at the control seat here. You can see all of the different little models and textures that are in this seat. Even down here, we've got a little danger warning of high voltage for whatever electronics lie in that panel. I think this seat looks awesome, and I can't wait to incorporate it into some of my designs. I can tell you instantaneously, in my single player world, I'm going to change out all the control seats that are like so in my main base into these new control seats because they just look way better but moving on next up we have some new railings and catwalks to go along with the stairs previously we would have no real good ability to end a catwalk if we just wanted to abruptly end it we'd have to say have the catwalk with them on both sides and then after that we'd have to get out the the railings and put a railing there we'd have to do it with multiple blocks but now we don't have to do that anymore all we have to do is just have this one graded catwalk end and there you go there's the end of the catwalk nice and simple now with these half stairs which are awesome stairs because you can have it so in a very tight design you only have a one block hallway you don't have to have an entire another block just to have stairs upwards into a second level you can pass on this side with one engineer's width and you can walk up the stairs here with one engineer's width however before we wouldn't have this little bit of railing here you couldn't put that in there was no half-sized railing bits but now there is the catwalk with as we see here these little half railings at the end not only is this great to just like say you want to put in an area that just has a a railing so you could sort of make a uh, oh like a, a queue like you're waiting for a um, a movie or something along those lines where you could just stack these up with the different types like this and you have a, a an area you know when you're you're waiting for something you're lining up you just want to have a little bit of pedestrian traffic flow this is perfect you could have this as your lineups into whatever various designs you're gonna make but then also it lines up perfectly with these stairs so now you can have it so that your railing just ends you have safety here because you're not going to fall off the edge of it and you can just walk up the stairs easy peasy same thing for it being on the right side or the left side here for these stairs now it's not just the catwalks it is also in the railings so there's a separate piece here 
with this railing. However, the only downside of this is that the railing, that little piece of railing occupies this block. So I can't put these double railings on either side of this to replicate the functionality of this catwalk. That's the only downside. If I wanted to replicate the functionality, I have to get the single catwalk here, railing straight, put it on that side and put it on that side. Then you can, but now I can't replicate that over here because now this railing is occupying this block and now I can't do it here. So uh, some unfortunateness there. However, you can get around that using some uh, tricky maneuvering with the different railings. Let me just clear those up and put that little bit of railing back there, right there. But at least say if you're having just railings going straight along and you wanted to have stairs, but just half stairs, you can just add in a small bit of railing here so that people can't sneak through and get up past those stairs. And of course, the same thing for the stairs on the right side or stairs on the left side, you have the uh, equivalent uh, little railing block. And like I was saying there, you can combine them all up using a block that is occupying here and a block that is occupying here to get the same functionality and you can design things to work with those stairs. Now, this one's pretty big, is that there are new window blocks, glass blocks, for small grid. And I am so excited about this, because previously, all you'd be able to do on small grid is just do a regular old cockpit. So, for example, we'd have our little rover here. This is just the, the blue team rover, as is in... Uh, I believe this is Keen's official design. And you would have your cockpit, but this would be the only cockpit really you could get. Like, you could have the different forms of the cockpit. If we just grab that out here. Like, you could have your... Just do -do. Have your smaller cockpits, your industrial one. You'd have your fighter one as well. The fighter cockpit. Come on. You will place for me. God damn it. There you go. And then industrial cockpit. So you'd have these options for cockpits and you would have glass surrounding them, but you couldn't really build them custom like. You could on large ships where you would have a bunch of glass that you could place, but not on small ships. But now they exist. Now glass is here for small ships, which makes things awesome. And I'm so excited about that. I just get those out of the way. So for example, what I've done is I've taken that cockpit out and I've just added a basic windscreen and sunroof to this. Of course, if you wanted to make this airtight, this would require more effort, but this is just a quick thing for me to show it off. So if I climb into the new, uh, the well, relatively new, added in the last update, small control seat, we can see out of our glass and we have a custom designed windscreen on this. So I am super excited about using that to make all sorts of cockpit designs, so like windshield designs, and also because bulletproof glass is a little more durable than say like a transparent LCD, what you could also do if I want to, uh, let me just extend this out a little bit here with a camera and a one by one window, which should be this one right here. You can start to use these as blockers to protect your cameras. So if we put this here and we put a window in front of it, I will probably need, there is not catwalks for small grids. Hmm. And we'll just have to span across like that. That's quick and easy. We can put a, the camera behind the window. And if we add a quick little battery to this small grid here, so that camera has power, we should be able to access that camera from here. Camera, view, and we can see through the camera, zoom in and out, 
However, that camera is relatively safe because it is behind glass. So this would be very useful if you're building fighter ships and such where you want to be able to see what you're doing but not actually have your very fragile camera be uh, accessible to enemy small arms fire. Like, for example, we can take a couple shots there and it protected the camera where the camera itself doesn't take more than just a couple shots to destroy. So it's adding some health to the camera. Of course, it's not much. That was, a, that was a, the high-end weapon, but also it's just it's more durability and you of course it's clear you can see through it so you can layer them up as much as you want and uh, have some safe cameras which i'm looking forward to but yeah that is the update other than that the only other really functional thing is for sensor blocks and this is just sort of like a random small thing for sensor blocks is that the I believe it was the minimums here now go down to point 0.1 instead of being an absolute at 1. So you can have this being absolutely tiny extent and it would only basically trigger when a person directly steps on it. See how close I have to be? So landmines maybe? Because it has to be directly stepping on it essentially. Imagine burying this into the voxel just so that it's like that centimeter below the voxel just so you can't see it or maybe so that you can but you get your painting tool out and you paint this thing white. Oh, I guess the center still stays yellow, but you put that in the ground and then somebody running along beep and then explosions. So yeah, it's the first thing that comes to my mind when you have these uh, tiny sensor ranges is uh, landmines <laughs> but even in your base say you're gonna have something where you just want it to be exactly when you walk over a certain spot you have an elevator move or something like that you can have it so that yeah you stand on the the, the thing stand here something happens I like it it's gonna be good but yeah that is the update oh and the last thing in the update, you may notice that up in the sky, we have a festive winter uh, skybox for here. And I'll, I'll do this in post editing where I'll, I'll zoom in on it. And it is essentially a large red ship that is being pulled along by little drones. And that is an awesome skybox. So kind of like what we had for Halloween. But this time it's a Christmas themed. So I hope you guys have a wonderful holidays. If you don't see any other of my videos. But enjoy the new Space Engineers blocks. As I certainly am. I'm going to be incorporating them into my stuff. But that's going to be it for now. Thanks for watching. And good hunting out there fellow Space Engineers.